What's going on guys, Mr. Techbot here. Man, do I have a video for you today. So I got this box from Spasta Collectibles. I paid $75 for it with a guarantee of $60 value in the box. However, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the elusive hat box ghost from Haunted Mansion. Is it in here? Let's check it out. What's going on everybody? Hope everyone is having a wonderful day and everyone out there is staying safe. So as I said, Spastic Collectibles. Now, mind you, I had one box of Spastic Collectibles already before. Didn't really like it that much. Um, I, I felt that it was kind of, you know, it seemed like items inside the box were basically old shelf fillers that basically didn't sell on the GameStop shelf. They bought them all up and they put them in the box. Um, now that was a particular type of box I have now, but... However, um, with some, you know, showing of my good friend, the Bearded Barbarian, he, he's a big fan of Spanish Collectibles. They do release new ones here, there that, um, you know, are really good value and everything like that. They guarantee certain value in there, stuff like that. Just stay away from that one. I think we're going to be good. So anyways, this one was supposed to, there's four big hits and all of them had to do with the Haunted Mansion. So there was the um, the three hitchhiking ghouls, and as well as the one I'm really hoping for is the Hatbox Ghost, because um, that's of course one of the best looking ones and can only be found in the Disneyland version of the Haunted Mansion. I believe it can only be found during Halloween time. So that's always a great one. Awesome ghost from that ride, and I can't wait to crack into this and see what we got. I'm really excited for this. Now before we do open up the box, if you're new to the channel, or return to the channel, I want to thank you guys for checking out this video. If you do like it, please go ahead and uh, smash that like button as well as leave me a comment. And also, if you could, go ahead and smash that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And after you hit that subscribe button, please go ahead and hit that post notification bell right next to it. So that way you get notified of all the most recent videos that I do put out, as well as any new live streams that I do start. If you have not yet become a TechBot Avenger, check out my patreon channel link is in the description down below i do a monthly giveaway for patreon members only of a really cool funko pop so get your chance at that all right got all that out of the way Whew. all right spastic collectibles all right um so I, again this is i believe supposed to be supposed to be four where's my knife so it's be four Funko Pops in here. Now I believe I paid about seventy-five dollars for the box. Um, I believe they get guaranteed at least a sixty-dollar value, which you know isn't half bad. You know if you're paying for you know a larger item. And then there's supposed to be four Funko Pops in here. Is it the hat box ghost? There's only one way to find out. Let's open it. All right. Now, I think it's been a while since I've done some of these types of boxes. And I definitely got to start getting into them a little bit more. Because um, I do kind of miss them. Now, I do have some pop in the box boxes coming up pretty soon. Because I did decide to go ahead and start another um, pop in the box account. But, um, you know, being a little bit more picky with the, the types of pops that I'm going to get from them. So, that's always good. So, let's see. I think there was a sticker up top. But, nope. I think There he goes. Basta Collectibles sticker up top. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the one that is not first. Let's see what we have. So we got the Monop. Uh, that's actually kind of cool. Uh, we got the Monopoly Man. This is a Funko limited edition uh, from the Funko Shop. Um, you know, got a little bit of damage right here on the front. Um, window looks really good, actually. No, that's not damage. I think that's how it's supposed to be. Cause I noticed that the, the Monopoly thing up top has kind of got like a, you know, it's not like pristine. It's got some marks or, you know, maybe some wear cause maybe it's, it's for retro toys. I haven't gotten a retro toy yet. Uh, this is probably going to be my first one of the new retro toy, toy lines. So I'm not hundred percent sure if that's where it's supposed to be, but it seems to be pretty common cause I see it right here as well. And even on the back there. 
So that is a lot of fun. I do like that. Um, it says the second prize, holding a flower, um, holding up. So that one's pretty cool. I do like that one a lot. Um, this is the one that was out of the box. So, I mean, being an exclusive, a Funko Shop exclusive right off the bat, that's pretty good. So I'm, I'm always hopeful for what's inside of here. So like we usually do at the end, I'll pull these all out and I'll find out the pricing. While I'm finding out the pricing, I've got something new for you in the light box. So let's get to the next one. So we got a box protector. What do we have here? Yo Gabba Gabba. Of course we do have the protector and it's a brand new one. So it's still got the film around it. Now typically I do take those off um, afterwards and, and everything. Um, Cause it's just annoying, especially when it sits in here and it's all scrunched up and stuff. So let me go ahead and just take this off real fast. All right, there we go. That's a little bit better. So that's always kind of nice. Um, sorry, I, I have to take those those off. That really bothers me when it's scrunched up like that. Maybe it's my OCD. I don't know. Uh, but we have Yo Gabba Gabba. All I know is this is a kid show. My kids never watch this, so I don't know. And of course, this film's on because it's these spastic collectibles um, protectors. But this looks like, you now it looks to be an older pop to me because it's got the older Funko name on the bottom here. So this could be very well a vaulted pop. Now as far as condition goes, I mean, if it's an older pop, which I'm pretty sure it is from, from that bottom, um, the box looks fantastic. Uh, no idea what a value of this could be. Uh, sometimes these kid toy ones look i mean they can they go go up in value pretty easily but i have no idea on this one um uh, or nor the uh the the nor the the mr monopoly because that, although i don't think that one's gonna be that much because that thing's probably gonna be relatively new uh it's got the fungus shop exclusive to it but this is 2d 2d from yo gabba gabba um like i said let me take, show you up closer a little bit more without that film on the front of it. And, uh, but yeah, I don't know a lot about it. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Don't know what they are. Um, again, my kids never really got into the show. So, I mean, can't give you a lot of information. So let's go ahead. Oh no, okay. Was I wrong? All right, I was wrong. So there's only two box protectors. This pop right here is not in a protector. Oh, all right. So we have Eve from the Alien Remix line. Now, I really, really like this line. Funny part is this one I already have. Out of all the ones I'm trying to get, there's, there's still a whole bunch out there that I'm trying to get that I don't have yet. This one I already have. Um, I don't think they're they're not high value as there seems to be just so many of them out there that and, and they're common. So this is a very common pop. Value is not going to be all that high. Uh, I'm going to say this is going to be the lowest out of all of them so far, but it doesn't matter to me. I got them because to me, I think the aliens dressing up as different characters uh, within the Pixar world is just, I mean, it puts a smile on your face. You know, I'm a Disney fan and uh, I just always think that that just is funny. I like it. I like the idea and I am trying to collect all the ones that are out there so far, um, but this one is definitely funny, but I do have this one. Um, I did, I believe I bought it from the Funko shop um, at one point, but or well, maybe I was popping the box. I can't remember. I can't. I buy from too many places nowadays. But that one is definitely pretty cool. So, oh, wow! I was back. I, my feeling is horrible. So this is my only box protector part. So I'm gonna assume that this is my highest value, which definitely means we didn't get the hat. hat which definitely means we didn't get the hat box ghost. But that's okay. You know, you got to keep trying different mystery boxes to find out what you get and you know see if you because you can't get a chance to get that high pick if you don't play the game so let's see what we have in this so we got the basketball player bradley beal from the washington wizards um which i know the team used to be called the washington bullets and they went to the washington wizards and then they had a different logo and michael jordan played for them and then they went back to almost like the Washington Bullets logo, but Washington Wizards. I don't know. It was all confusing to me anyways. I'm not a huge basketball fan. I am a diehard Celtics fan. Uh, anything Boston, Celtics, Red Sox, Bruins, Patriots. Um, so I do follow them. But the rest of basketball, I'm not a huge, huge watcher of it. 
Um, but I have heard of Bradley Beal. Um, I think he's our probably their top player. And um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much my extent I know of him. Uh, I don't know stats or even really how good he is, but there we got so far. So fortunately, it looks like I took up I, what I think is our top picks first. Um, if I think these are going to go in any particular order, I'm I'm actually still going to say I think Eve's going to be the lowest, Bradley Beal, then Mr. Monopoly, and then Tootie. Is it? I don't know. Why don't I go ahead and check out the price of these while I do go ahead and check these out on the brand new turntable inside the light box. Check it out. Welcome back guys hope you enjoy those they do look good and I, I do agree especially uh, I really like that uh, mr. monopoly guy that one that one looks fantastic now did I get my order right and did I get my box value back I don't know um, tell you this much it didn't look good but what we're gonna start is um, we're gonna start down here at Bradley Beal this has a so this is the NBA Bradley Beal trending value is eleven dollars. Came out in twenty twenty. Is still available. Pop vinyl from NBA. All right. We're gonna go up here to Eve, which is our Pixar Alien Remix. Eve has a trending value of nine dollars. Came out in twenty twenty. Is still available. Pop vinyl from the Alien Remix line. So next we have Monopoly, Mr. Monopoly Beauty Contest. This came out in twenty twenty. Is still available. Pop vinyl. From Monopoly, I'm surprised it didn't say it was a Funko Shop limited edition, but I don't know. I don't know what the limited is on it. And then, of course, we've got our big one, uh, the Yo Gabba Gabba 2D has a PPG training value of twenty-eight dollars. Came out in two thousand twelve, so yeah, that's why I did notice the, the older logo on the bottom. It is vaulted pop vinyl from Yo Gabba Gabba. So, if we count all that up, that was only a fifty-seven dollar box value now again they do guarantee you the sixty dollars but again that may have been sixty dollars when they had packaged up the box um as these things do happen um it was sixty dollar value and because we know the prices change all the time um it, it may have some of them may have slightly dropped hey that is another risk you take by doing mystery boxes but again you know i i'll take uh the risk of something like this to Having that possible risk of, of getting a $400, you know, hat box ghost. I mean, didn't get it this time, but doesn't mean I'm not going to continue to try. So, again, I didn't get the order right because I was actually surprised that the uh, basketball one was worth more than, than both. Well, it was more, it was more than a Monopoly one. But uh, I don't know. Who knows? You know, you got to take, you got you win some, you lose some. This time I didn't win it. And maybe on the next mystery box, It'll be in my favor. But that's all I got for you guys today. I do want to thank you guys for taking the time out to watch this video, as I always appreciate it. Definitely consider becoming a Patriotic Avenger on my Patreon channel. And then other than that, um, you guys all have a wonderful day. As I always like to say, do what you like, do what you love. And always, guys, never forget to unleash your inner nerd. Take it easy. Later! Later!